first YMCA came to Matt's Hewn in 1871, and at that time it was actually just a place for men to stay overnight and also to teach them about Christianity. At that time, we were close enough to the railroad that a lot of the men that were staying, um, passing through on the trains would stay, and it was actually only 25 cents to stay. In 1913, it moved to 217 North 16th Street, which is actually just south of our parking lot. So we're pretty much where we started. Um, throughout the years, it did move around. Uh, the property at 217 closed in 1932. At that time, that property was sold and the YMCA left Mattoon for a while. Uh, we resurfaced in the 80s up on Broadway. And at first, it was just a storefront property. So what that means is even though we were there, all our programs had to be held elsewhere. So we utilized like the gyms at the schools so we could offer sports. Um, a little later in the 80s, we were able to move into what is now the Blue Cross Blue Shield building. At that time, it was called the Eisner building. And from there, we were able to start offering aerobics classes, and we also had karate, and had our first weight room for the YMCA here in Mattoon. And after that, it did move around to a couple more locations and settled in at 221 North 16th in 1988, where we are now. The building we are in now at one time was a car dealership and it was also a grocery store. So it's held many different things. And uh, when we first started in that building, of course, it was only um, half the size that it is now. Uh, the YMCA up until 2011 was only 28,000 square feet and we are now sitting at 63,000 square feet. We were able to add a second fitness studio, which allows us to offer so many more classes. Uh, some of our classes, such as Forever Fit or Zumba Gold, is good for the active older adult, whereas we also have kickboxing and Zumba and things like that for the adults. Uh, we also wanted to make sure we had plenty of activities for the kids, and so throughout the years we've added Hang Time, which is a free program to our members so that the kids can do a different activity every night, whether it's they participate in exercise or if they are going to make a craft. And by them doing that, it gives the parents a time to go to the, the wellness center or the gyms and get a workout in. So we added so much space. Our child watch is just a beautiful area for the kids that are between six weeks age and up to seven years. It's just a beautiful room for them to play and they don't really miss mom and dad while they're having a good time themselves. And if you come visit us today, you'll see that we're actually doing the expansion. So we're getting ready to add on to the building again. There wasn't always room for a program for all ages, whereas now there is. We start to see a lot more families coming in. The families use the pool for open swim time or family swim time to have some activities together, or even just to pick up a basketball from one of us at the desk and go back and shoot some baskets. And I think the thing that's really nice about our YMCA is we also, our membership is for everyone, so it doesn't matter what your income is. At the YMCA, we do have a scholarship program that's available, and so it helps everybody have the opportunity to be a member of our Y. And I think what you would see if you spend a day at the YMCA is the people come here, they make friends. Um, it's, it's a community center as far as they make friends, they get healthy, they share their goals with each other, they motivate each other, they encourage each other, and I see that every day, and I think that's just awesome. Uh, the Mattoon Arts Council is made up of 11 volunteers appointed by the City of Mattoon. Uh, the City created the Arts Council in 1999 uh, just to create some sort of a group that can focus solely on bringing arts activities and uh, supporting the arts in the city. We feel that arts enhance the quality of life for Mattoon residents and the surrounding area. We provide a lot of a variety of activities in town with a lot of co-sponsorships from other groups and organizations. The Common Grounds Coffee House here in town, we sponsor an exhibit there. So every two months we hang a new artist's work in there. It can be photography or it can be painting. Anything from professionals from the area to little kids. We provide musical performances. We provide classes and workshops for both adults and kids. We have a one day long arts festival called Artworks. Uh, in 2015, it will be our fourth year and we have this festival in order to showcase the artists in our community um, in their arts, in their music, uh, dance and drama it can also be incorporated. And we have um, art vendors selling their work. We have our hands-on art activities as well as music and art demonstrations. One of the biggest uh, 
events that we had was the G's Bend quilters. They were so popular, we brought them back again a year later, so they've been here twice now. So we had standing room only whenever they were here, and we would have uh, different events for them. So that was very well received. And since then, we have sort of a little mini quilt group that follow us. We have quilt workshops and exhibits coming up. Some of the other things, there's the uh, Rotary Band Shell in Peterson Park here in town. We generally try to sponsor some music events there every year. We try to offer at least two or three times a year classes and workshops. One of the things that we really try to do is to keep the cost of what we do low or free. Most of what we do is free because one of the best things about the arts and most important things to us is that everyone get a chance to appreciate and get themselves involved. We have a couple of musicians, blues musicians, that have given some workshops. For the first several years that we were a group, we had a lot of ideas for things that we wanted to present, but we didn't really have a place to do it. So we used a lot of places here in town, but we never had our own little space. So thanks to some very generous donors in the community, uh, we were able to renovate the top floor of the Mattoon Depot, the train depot. Um, it is now called the Lone Elm Room. And we're pretty proud of it. It's only been finished for about a year. And it's a very state of the art facility as far as it's got sound equipment, lighting equipment, staging, chairs. So it's set up to be a multi-purpose room where we can set it up for theaters and plays or musical performances or uh, there's a hanging apparatus in the ceiling where you can hang uh, artwork for exhibits and that sort of thing. So it's really nice. Uh, we've pretty dedicated for the last year and trying to make that the place to go. We really want the depot and that downtown area to kind of be the focal point for the city. It, it's become that anyway, but also for the art scene. So we just, we want it to become the place where people in town think, oh, I wonder what's going on at the depot this weekend. And, and hopefully, you know, check it out and see if it's something that they would like to come to. Well, Dodge Grove Cemetery was founded in April of 1862. The founding fathers decided that they wanted a different cemetery. We had one in the south side of Mattoon, and it was just a church cemetery, rather small. And they picked this land because it was about two miles northwest of Mattoon at that time. So they set up the land for that, and then um, they ended up buying 10 acres of land from Elisha Linder that fall, and then the cemetery actually opened in 1863. Of course, as the years went by, they've added more land to it. It's now 45 acres. There's space for 24,000 burials up there. I think there are 1,800 left. In 1905, it became a perpetual cemetery, so the city takes care of it. Um, they take uh, do all the care for it and then they at that time is when they installed the benches, the fountains, the bird baths and they paved the sidewalks and the roads. Before that they were dirt. But Dodge Grove is still our biggest cemetery and it's, a, a, it's called a monumental cemetery. It's easy access cemetery because you can drive around the, ex the exterior of it in one big circle or you can go through all the different roads. It's very easy to get to any of the graves up there first memorial you see when you go in is the flagpole. You'll notice that. Um, a John Wachter is who it was uh, named for and in May of 38 his family dedicated that and turned it into a memorial. And then the next one when you go on down, um, the Pythias uh, monument and that was put up in 1929 and it's the only Pythias monument in the world. So it's, it's kind of interesting when you have it, and it, it's a, a bit obelisk type, and it kind of reminds you of the Washington Monument. <laughs> and then when you go on down the road a little more is the GAR, the Grand Army of the Republic Monument, and it's a soldier. That one was, uh, that had to be, I don't know what year it was installed, but it was installed by Post 404. And then um, the next monument would be the IOOF Circle. And it is a huge circle, and it's got all the flat stones for, um, in memory of uh, all of their members. And then just north and west of that would be the Veterans Memorial, and that one has four um, stones on it representing each of the four branches of the services. 
And then we've got one Confederate soldier buried up there. Um, he came in on the train going north as a prisoner and he was sick and they took him off and took him to the old church over on 14th and Broadway. And he is at us the hospital and he died there. And so he was buried at the cemetery but outside the fence. They would not let someone be buried inside. And his grave was unmarked for 50 years until a printer um, decided that he wanted, the, wanted it marked, and so he made a marker for it to mark it as a Confederate soldier. Eventually they moved the fence on past it, so he is inside the cemetery. Founders of Mattoon, a lot of them are in there. Uh, Colonel James Monroe was a uh, supervisor, township supervisor. That would have been in 1861, and then he became the mayor leave in 62 and he was only mayor for a few months and resigned to join the Civil War and then he was one of the 42 troops that was killed at Farmington Tennessee during the battle down there and so he's buried there and then the other founders the Doles are buried there um, Ebenezer Noyes founder one of the founders of Mattoon the true family who settled the east side of town Noyes settled the west side of town there are also three family tombs uh, above ground tombs and then the mausoleum is on the west side and it's pretty good sized. It was built by Cecil Bryan in 1910 and it's got 300 spaces in it for burials. Yeah, with all the monuments and markers in it, which is unusual for a lot of cemeteries. You can go in others and you don't see all these special monuments. But yeah, it's, it's quite interesting to go up and, and just go out there in different times of the year too because you see so many different things that you don't notice at other times. Uh, when the Civil War started, Ulysses S. Grant was working for his brother at a basically a leather goods store in Galena, Illinois. He had resigned from the Army he, of course, was a West Point graduate in, I believe, 44, 43, uh, class of 43, participated in the Mexican War, and stayed in the Army uh, for a period, but resigned in 1854. Basically, on, he told him he was a drunk and he didn't want to deal with the Army anymore. But he's up in Galena when the war starts, and they raised a company up there to report to Springfield. Uh, Grant volunteered to escort the company from Galena down to Springfield to Camp Yates. And when he got there and brought the company, he went to the adjutant general and said, hey, ex-West Point, ex-Mexican War, ex-military, got anything for me to do? And they said, well, not really, but we'll make you a captain in the Illinois uh, militia, basically, or the adjutant general's office, and make you uh, a recruitment and training officer. So one of his first duties that he was sent out to do, he didn't even have a uniform, was he came to Mattoon where there was a uh, muster camp up, uh, where Grant Park is now. It's between Logan and uh, uh, Sixth Street, between Shelby and Payette. It's out towards the Roundhouse Complex or the National Guard Armory. About a year and a half ago when Steve discovered all of this, uh, he approached several members of the community about uh, creating a memorial ellipse in honor of the, the location. So as a result of that, uh, the Mattoon Chamber of Commerce, the uh, Coles County Historical Preservation Society, the Illinois State Historical Society, the city of Mattoon, and several members of the community got together to put this project together to raise money. And basically the 7th Illinois Regiment District Regiment was being formed there. That eventually turned into the 21st Illinois. And he was here for three or four days working with that unit and swearing them in for their first 30 days service. When Grant came back from Anna, he was asked by the Adjutant General if he wanted to take the colonelcy of the 21st Illinois Infantry. I think that we knew about it because, I mean, growing up, Grant Park, I always figured Grant Park had to be named after something. With this project, it, it now brings it to light, brings the historical value to Mattoon. People seem to be to drive to battlefields, to various towns for their historical context, 
and I really think that this is something that Mattoon has to offer that we can draw to people to Mattoon. Back then, all the officers were elected by the men themselves, and Grant said, well, I just know these guys for three days. They're all from the county surrounding Mattoon here and stuff. They don't know me from Jack. Uh, they basically voted him as a colonel because they liked him from the experiences here in Mattoon. Uh, at the dedication ceremony, we had it included speeches from Congressman Jim Sh John Shimkus, Illinois National Guard General Richard Hayes, and Mattoon Mayor Tim Gover, as well as Steve Thompson, do the presentation out at the location. Uh, and it just, as a result of that, it just got together with we wanted to do phase two, will be pathways, regimental markers, urban furniture, and organic landscaping. And then hopefully phase three, if we get the funds raised for that, will be a bronze statue. Hopefully we'll make it a place for uh, uh, tourism and educational purposes in Mattoon. There are two parcels of land uh, directly across from the, the Ellipse Project and our future hope is to eventually acquire that land, donate it back to the city and create a Camp Grant public park for the citizens of Mattoon. Our goal is to have the money raised and the uh, statue here ready to be unveiled for the 150th anniversary of the Civil War, which will be in the fall of uh, 2015. During his visit to Mattoon, he was staying at the Essex House, which was the principal hotel at that point, and was the railroad depot. And he thought that the men from the eventual 21st, they were a good bunch of men, they just needed some discipline. But it wasn't enough. This adjutant general relieved uh, the colonel named Good, who was from Decatur, and gave Grant the opportunity with his first combat command and the story's pretty well known after that. He ends up in charge of the Union armies at the end of the Civil War, and of course became the 18th President of the United States. years ago, 31 to be exact, Consolidated was looking for a way to have employees work together and give back to the community. And some research was done and uh, Paul Kaiser, who was an employee at that time, met with then area director Midge McDowell and they came up with a plan to have Consolidated employees work and spend a day having fun for Special Olympians. And that's how Special Olympic Family Festival came to be about. We meet on the third Saturday of September every year, and we have for 31 years. Um, and the Olympians from the Area 9 and surrounding areas come to the campus of Lakeland College and they spend the day with a friend for a day just having fun. Um, Non-competitive games, activities, dancing, singing. We partner not only with First Mid and Sarah Bush Lincoln, but with Special Olympics Illinois. And last year, 700 athletes came from our area and the surrounding areas. And they spent the day, um, and they have a friend for a day. So when they get there, the Olympian is paired with a friend. And they spend the day going to different activities, to different tents, playing games, just having fun. It is the fourth largest event for Special Olympics in the state of Illinois, and there's no other event like it in the nation. Um, last year, over a thousand volunteers came to provide this fun day for the Olympians. The Olympians look forward to this day all year. It's one of the, it's a big deal for them. It's a major event in their lives, and uh, our partnerships and our commitment to them is something that consolidated is just so proud of and I'm proud to be a part of. This is our way to pay back to the community. It's a way for employees to work together, to give to the community. It's a way for the community to get involved and help those a little less fortunate than them. And it's, it's a good thing. There is a committee of 40 volunteers who meet, start meeting in March to plan the day in September. Um, you have to organize the food and um, first aid and the volunteers, manpower, you know. They spend months, you know, picking out a t-shirt that the Olympian will like and organizing a special guest to come. And everyone works together. 
it's a great day. I love it. I, I look forward to it all year. I was proud to be chosen as the um, chairman this year. And, I, you know, I wouldn't miss Special Olympic Family Festival for anything. What a great story about the Special Olympics. That's a really great story, and it really touches your heart. So that was There's a young man in that um, story, as well as the Camp New Hope mm -hmm. story. And Anthony, this is a shout out to you. Mm -hmm. I love you, sweetheart, and thank you so much for being a part of Matt Toon. This is our story. When we were at our premiere last week with the storytellers, he came up, and I'd never met Anthony before, and he goes, I love you. <laughs> and I'm He's like, so I sweet. love you too. I go, my husband didn't even tell me that today, but I have <laughs> a young man to say he loves me. That was so sweet. But um, that's the kind of stories and the kind of people that we can tell about the people that we've met from Matt Toon. Mm -hmm. And they've become uh, really close to mm -hmm. WEIU. And uh, we want you to be able to have a part of that history, a part of these mm -hmm. stories. Give us a call. This is uh, an opportunity right now. We are so close to the goal of 75. Mm -hmm. We need how many more? Seven? Six. We need seven more people to call, and that'll get us to our goal of 75. So we've Let's six. Oh, we're down to six now. Six. Okay, we okay. need six more. Who's going to be the first one? We got six. We got to get to six. Who's going to be one? Call us right now. And you're going to get a set of two DVDs mm -hmm. over two and a half hours of stories from Matt Toon Storytellers, a one of a kind item that you can't get anywhere else except by calling WEIU. Mm -hmm. This is your opportunity right now. Mm -hmm. Be a part of Matt Toon. This is our story tonight by calling <laughs> the number at the bottom of your screen. Well, don't miss out this opportunity. I mean, where else are you going to be able to get a program that's on Matt Toon? Mm -hmm. For storytellers that live in Mattoon and they chose the story. Mm -hmm. And Very professionally personal. done. I mean, did you enjoy the show tonight? If you enjoyed it, then support it. And I don't know if you know this or not, and I don't know that we've mentioned this tonight, but the storytellers were the videographers, mm -hmm. they were the photographers, they were the researchers of these stories. So it came straight from the people of Mattoon. We didn't go shoot that video, we only took video of the interview of the storytellers mm -hmm. and them telling the story and then the audio of right. it. So it's very, um, it's a very unique piece of material that you can have only be calling right now and talking to one of the operators. We need six more calls. Let's go. So get those phones <laughs> ringing right now and we're going to give it over to Lori and there's an interesting story to tell right now. That's right. I have Sandra Graven with me and she did a great job with along with Steve Thompson telling about the Civil War Memorial. Thank you. But she just mentioned that you have a connection to the Bagel Fest Arch, which was mentioned in Angelia Burgett's story that I want you to tell us about. At the premiere last week when Angelia brought up the arch, the and lighted light arch works, at the Lightworks, um, and she mentioned that it was uh, created. It was my brother, Steve Metzger, mm -hmm. who did that Lightworks or did the arch. And uh, his son, Gil, proposed to his wife under that uh, arch. They closed the park, and it was just heartwarming that he did that in honor of his dad. Oh, that is so neat. And I know there are a lot of people out there love. That is my favorite part about Lightworks is going through that arch. It just kind of just sets the tone for the whole thing. So thank you so much for sharing that Welcome, story. And for the Ellipse Project, real quick, when will we start to see some of that coming there's already the sign there we're um, hoping uh to break ground this spring with the uh, uh the actual concrete and the ellipse project plus some of the regimental markers it's just going to be another nice addition to mattoon that people will be able to enjoy I we're agree. so glad we got to hear all about it from you thank and the you. rest of the storytellers we'll send it back over to jeff well thank you i also would like to take a little time to thank some of the people that made this show possible first mid illinois bank and trust sarah bush lincoln health center consolidated communications gowan park auto truck and farm repair mears automotive the fellowship center aquanix arby's uh, and domino's thank you all for your support of the show tonight we appreciate it very much um, also i think we're at uh, the 70th call right over there sharon is there we need five more, Matt, too. We need five more calls, uh, and we're going to stay on TV till we get five more calls. So call right now. we got plenty of people here answering the phone. Lots of great people working here at night, late night at WEIU. We're still live, but we need you to call right now to get to that magic number of 75. Now back to the ladies. So we're five away, but let me give a shout-out and a thank you to Cheryl, Brian and Pam, uh, Andrew, and the Mattoon Police Department. So mm -hmm. thank you so much. We are five away. Five away. We're Come so on, Mattoon, bring it home. Come we know on. you can do it. You only have to call five times <laughs> to meet our goal of $75. Now, I'm serious about mm -hmm. this because, Mattoon, this is a one-of-a-kind one of a kind. There DVD. we go. We're, hopefully, we're down to four. Come on, Mattoon, you can do it. This is a one-of-a-kind DVD. 
This is your only opportunity tonight to call in, talk to people from that tune, talk to us, tell us about what you thought of the show, and get that set of DVDs. Mm -hmm. You know, we talk about getting the. There's another one. Come on, Matt. Come on, we got We're three more there. left. You can do it. We talk about this program, and we talk about. Come on. We talk about handing it down to your children. You're leaving something historical for them that they will never forget. You can't. You can't put a price on mm -mm. it. No, it's, it's it's such a valuable piece of history. We can do it. We've got three more people that need to call. Come on, Matt. Come Tim. on. I'm telling need, you, there we one. go. There's need, another one. We need two keep more. Come on. If you pass 75, we're going <laughs> to we're just going to keep on shouting out Matt Toon tonight. So, Matt Toon is awesome. The program is awesome. Our storytellers yeah. who stepped up to the plate. <laughs> Woohoo! We need one more call. One more person who is going to be our 75th caller. We know you want to give 75. Mm -hmm. Can you? This is amazing. I mean, talk about Matt Toon people supporting their community. That's what we're talking about. Matt Toon people supporting something about Matt Toon. And it was one thing that I really took um, notice of in doing this show is that. Yeah. Oh yeah! <laughs> Woo! Wow. 75. Matt Toon people That's support great. Matt Toon people, yeah. and you can see it right now. I got we met 75. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep if you want to keep calling, we're going to stay right here. We meet that goal, and we want to be sure that we are showcasing Matt Toon, highlighting you. And what I was saying earlier is one thing that I took notice of is that Matt Toon people continue to make sure that they recognize Matt Toon people. Right, and that's that's the cool thing about Matt Toon. What a great community. I mean, for you guys to step up tonight and say, we are proud of our, our town. We love Matt Toon. We support our city. We got a great history. We got a great community here. That means a lot. Good for you, Matt Toon. Uh, all the events, the activities, the business stories that we heard about, the um, community stories, the people. I mean, just, I love those pictures of Bernie DeBurr's dad and, and all of that history that he had to share and um, just the country boy coming to town and the art and the murals and mm -hmm. the cemetery that has a one-of-a-kind memorial in it. I mean, all of right. these interesting things to share about Matt too. Well, yeah, and I think about how cool is it that all the people that are watching tonight that have never been to Matt Toon, they're going to start going to Matt Toon and checking out all those places. and and saying, wow, this has been a hidden treasure. I knew nothing about Matt Toon, but I watched this program on our PBS station, and wow, we know a lot about Matt Toon now. Yeah, several ways to get here. I mean, um, lots of ways uh, to get to Matt Toon, and we've heard about some of them tonight. You can check out the wonderful train depot and the restoration that took place. What Which a beautiful, beautiful building. That's where we held our community meeting and all the storytellers signed up to tell their great stories. The, there's so many amazing people in Matt Toon. Here's another call. Thank you so much. There's so many great people in Matt Toon. And we, there we go. <laughs> we are having a ball right now. And as long as you keep calling, we're going to mm -hmm. stay right here. Yeah, we love this because this is what really makes our jobs so worthwhile. I mean, this is our baby. And to know that you, the viewers, appreciate it, that makes that makes everybody feel good. I mean, in here tonight is a warm feeling of, wow, you had a community of Matt Toon people, wanted to tell stories, and then you're calling and supporting it. That's amazing. Yeah, and uh, you should really be proud of yourselves. Yeah. Because to live in a town that supports itself mm -hmm. and supports one another, mm -hmm. I mean, what more can you ask for? Mm -hmm. You don't get that in the city. You get no, that you in don't. places like Matt Toon. Well, and Matt Toon is a small town. and. Wow, what what a great support we're getting from Matt Toon people. So if you're one of those people that want to go ahead and give, call us right now. We'll ring the bell and Jeff will get all excited and, and we'll thank <laughs> you. What number are we at? Where are we at, you guys? What number are we at? We still there have There we phones. go. Thank yeah. you for calling. All right. We're in the high 70s. We're high sub Gosh, wouldn't it be cool if we make it to 100? That it would, would be would. It would be awesome if we made it to 100. Matt Toon, do you think we can make it to 100? <laughs> okay. I think we can make it to 100. If you want to, it's all up to you. Yeah. The DVD you will have for years to come, it's two hours hours of programming, mm -hmm. a little over two hours of stories about Matt Toon. Golly, don't miss this chance. Call us right now. The number's on your screen. We will keep on ringing that bell. I mean, don't, don't dilly. Does that work? Don't dilly don't dally. Don't dilly, dilly dally. <laughs> don't call dilly dally. Right now. Pick it up right Be that now. next person that makes the call and says, you know what? I want to support our town. Is there anyone else we need to give a shout out to? We got names back there. Patty. Patty. All right. Okay, Sylvia, we want to thank you, okay. Daryl, uh, Patty, Sarah, 
And Patricia, thank you so much for helping us meet the goal of 75. Are we, what number are we at? We're over 75, we're close to 80. Oh my God. All right, Matt Toon, way to go. Mm -hmm. You ride it home tonight. I would like to say a big thank you to the, all the staff and the engineering and everybody that helped tonight, the students here mm -hmm. uh, and all of our storytellers. We've got about probably 30 people here working tonight and we believe in what we do. We're gonna, oh, yeah. it's hi, Jackie. 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 Thank you so much, Jackie, for supporting WEIU yeah, and Matt Toon. You. This is our story. She was part of one of our mm -hmm. stories tonight, the Matt Toon Train Depot. Thank you so very much for your support. And we are we are still going to stay here if you want to support this program. If this, keep on calling. We, we're getting we're up to almost 80, I think, right yeah, now. Yeah, or over. We just got a call from Chatham, Illinois. So there are cities out mm -hmm. outside of Mattoon right now who have taken part. Wow. In, what a great city Mattoon mm -hmm. is. They may not have known anything about it, but I know, but they may have. Who knows? Right. They may have lived in Mattoon at one point. Well, I think that's the cool part about it. The people right now are saying. Here we are at 10.30 at night, and these people are still calling. Mm -hmm. I mean, what's that say about Matt Toon and the people that live there? You must love your community. <laughs> well, there's things about it that I really love, and I love that you are taking part in something that you can't take part of anywhere else. Right. Uh, WEIU, your local public broadcasting station, is really getting <laughs> into Matt Toon right now because you are supporting the efforts that we brought to your town and that you you brought to television. Right, and we don't want to take you for granted either. I mean, we we are a PBS station. We believe in reaching out to the community. We want to partner with Matt Toon. We want to partner with Effingham. We want to partner with all the towns that get receive us. Oh, here we go. We'd like to thank Barry. He's from Chatham. And Phil from Matt Toon. Thank wow, you so much. Thank you much. so much. I, this is crazy. We are getting so much support. And it's so late, so hey, we, we're gonna stay right here. That's okay, the phones are call. still ringing. We don't wanna go away because we want you to have the opportunity to sure. get that DVD set of two DVDs, two and a half hours of Matt Toon stories told by people from Matt mm -hmm. Toon. And I think we could almost get to 100. I mean, I know we can. I mean, the phones are still ringing right now. We have people waiting to uh, take your call. It only takes about a minute to make your pledge. Mm -hmm. Fast and easy and secure, and we just don't want you to miss out. Those, uh, those DVDs are something special, something that you can hold on to mm -hmm. that nobody else is going to have the opportunity to get um, un unless they call WEIU mm -hmm. or go online. But you know what? You can Let share those with your family. You can give them away as gifts. The phones keep ringing. <laughs> uh, keep those phone calls coming in. Our operators are having the time of their lives you right know, now. You know, wouldn't it be funny or a neat idea if you uh, supported the program tonight and kept a hold of it? for that special holiday, that special person that is from Matt Toon that maybe they're hard to buy for. And here you have something, you've supported a community station and you're gonna be able to give that thank you gift to somebody. And I would like to say thank you to Eileen and also to Lynn. Thank, thank you for you. supporting Matt Toon, this is our story. Now, when you become a member of WEIU tonight, um, you're getting the DVDs, mm -hmm. you're getting a member card with mm -hmm. area discounts, you're becoming a member of WEIU, so you're supporting a station and your community. That is exactly right. And, it, and your gift is tax deductible as well, mm -hmm. so that's a good thing. Um, I'm just floored by how many people are calling, and we're so appreciative. Mm -hmm. We don't want to take for granted any of our callers tonight. We love that you're calling, we love that you're supporting this great program. We know this has been a long program and we love it that you have mm -hmm. stuck by and watched all the stories and are still calling and supporting right now. And um, yeah, I mean, we, we have a little moment where we get a little sleepy, but I'll tell you what, I am jazzed <laughs> up right. right now because Matt too, and I tell you what, we are proud of you. We are, and you know, you may be one of those people that haven't called yet. Call us and let us know your favorite story tonight. When you call to support, then let us know, mm -hmm. and we yeah. will tell other people what you liked. Yeah, we had people question us, like, what is your favorite story? Mm -hmm. What is something you learned about Matt Toon? And I always go back to the Dodge Grove Cemetery mm -hmm. because I think that is so cool. I didn't know that cemetery was there. Mm -hmm. So, Joyce, thank you for sharing mm -hmm. that story and telling us about those memorials because one of a kind in the whole world, right. and it's right in Matt Toon. And it's absolutely beautiful. I'm waiting for spring because I think that would be a great time to go visit the cemetery. and. Um, Linda called. Thank you, Linda. Oh, my mom. I think you know her. Thanks, mom. Thank I you. love you. And Jim and Darlene also. Thank you so much. It's interesting we're getting calls from other communities. So what's the connection with Matt Toon? Maybe they grew yeah. up there, they went to school there, or have family there. Yeah, that one was from Oakland. That's from we had Oakland. from Charleston mm -hmm. earlier. So 
Yeah, great to see other cities and other towns supporting that tune tonight too. We just really, really appreciate people calling. We're still going to stay here. Who's going to be next? I know right now that there's somebody that hasn't called yet. We do not want you to miss this opportunity to get this great gift uh, from WEIU. It's, it's a great thing to have in your library of DVDs. It is over two hours of storytellers. We've got four people on the phone right now. We still have other people standing by. So there's Andy. He was a storyteller. Um, we've got more storytellers in the studio that have stuck with us all through the night. Um, over on the other set, we have a, a sign that says, Welcome Home. It's a great place to be. And that's what we feel about Matt Toon tonight. We could not be happier with the Matt Toon folk. And um, we just want you to know that we don't take you for granted. We don't take our viewers. I love that they're showing the sign, Welcome Home. A great place to be. Mattoon is a great place to be. It is, and the phones are still ringing. I'll tell you what, mm -hmm. keep that bell ringing, keep the phones <laughs> ringing. We just want to hear a ring no matter where it's coming from right now. You know, uh, we, how many storytellers do we have? I always 39. 39. So think about that. Of all the people in Mattoon, 39 people stepped up and said, I want to shout out and tell people about Matt Toon. Yeah, and we started this, pro uh, this project back in December. Mm -hmm. We had a community meeting in the Lone Elm Room, which mm -hmm. is another story about mm -hmm. a tree over in Matt Toon. It's really cool. But what a beautiful room that we had that in. And that's where people from Matt Toon said, you know what, I want to tell this story. Mm -hmm. I'm going to volunteer and be a part of this program. Mm -hmm. And I have to give a shout out to Steve Thompson. He was one of the people that said, come on, people of Matt Toon, support this because we want to record the history of Matt Toon. And because of that, Steve got a lot of people interested. He did. So thank you to all of the storytellers. Thank you for all of the underwriters. Thank you for all of the people who participated in this program tonight. You have just done a wonderful job. You should give yourself a pat on the back. Great job, Matt Toon. Mm -hmm. Thank you to the city of Matt Toon. And thank you, Jana, for all of your hard thank work, you too. Thank you, Ken. The right. phone lines are going to stay open for a few more minutes, but we'll get back to the show. We are going to the credits, so if you were someone that took part mm -hmm. in the show or know someone that did, we're going to run the credits and say our special thanks right now. Oh, we have one more. One more. We have Ed to thank, and we have someone else on the phone back yep, there. More. But I'll tell you what, if we don't get you on air, we're going to get you on social media. Yep. So uh, stay tuned, either online, and we'll be here for a little bit longer, so keep those phones coming. Thank you so much. Matt Toon, This Is Our Story is supported in part by First Mid Illinois Bank and Trust. At First Mid, we strive to fulfill the financial needs of our communities with personal service, professionalism, and integrity. Headquartered in Mattoon, Illinois, we have our local team dedicated to the needs of our customers. First Mid is proud to support Mattoon. This Is Our Story. Consolidated Communications, CCI is honored to bring you this program as well as providing TV, internet and phone service to local homes and businesses. We live where we work and we're proud to support the communities we serve. More information about CCI available at Consolidated.com. In Mattoon, Paris, Taylorville and Pena, Gowan Park staff arranges daily activities for your loved ones who suffer from Alzheimer's or dementia in a home environment setting. Gowan Park, the comfort of a promise kept.